Hey everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's good to see you all. For some people, it's a motivational Monday. Other people, it's a mindful Monday. But if you're with us on Say That Channel, you know it's the Monday rundown. Monday rundown. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> We're excited to see you all. For our Monday rundowns, they're a little bit different from our Wednesday shows because we get to talk about all the things that we don't get to talk about on Wednesday. Um, and so you guys keep bringing us your questions. You guys have really great questions. And then we go to other thought leaders, other content creators to hear their thoughts. And then we all learn together. Absolutely. But I know I love these Mondays because I know we have something special coming up in, on a Monday. This is true. So today, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> I'm really excited because today is the day when you're, if you're yeah, catching hopefully in the morning, but if not, um, don't worry, you still have time. So you finally made the decision to write the book that you've been thinking about in your head, but how do you get that jumbled mess out of your head and onto paper so that way you can finally publish the book? And then how do you market it? How do you actually make money from it? Well, I'm inviting you to my next free masterclass on Mo Monday, October 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, where I'm going over how to earn a lucrative income by becoming a best-selling author from scratch. See you there. That's right. Today's the day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing many of you there. Um, we're going to we're gonna go through a lot. I'm really excited for the authors, the best-selling authors that are going to come out of this masterclass. So the, if you haven't already, the, the description box below has the registration link. Go ahead and register and I'll see you there. Awesome. 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 All right. So let's jump into the topic for today. Can we improve our self-esteem? Can we? I think this is a great question. And I think ultimately the answer is yes. For me, the ways in which to improve it are the make, the little promises that we make to ourselves. I'm going to mm -hmm. not eat that apple pie today. I'm going to wash the dishes in the sink in an hour. I'm going to mm, not go on social media today or maybe like 30 minutes less today than I normally would. Whatever the little thing is, like it seems little and fairly inconsequential, but then actually doing the thing. Like it's really simple, oh, wow. it's really easy to wash the dishes, but it's also really easy to be like, eh, tomorrow. And the thing is when you, when you keep making these little promises to yourself and then you break them, you then lose confidence in yourself to be able to do the things that you've been wanting to do or that you said you were going to do. Cause it's almost like you don't even trust yourself to do them, even though nobody else, just yourself, you only made this promise to yourself, but it's these, it's the constant breaking of the little promises that you make to yourself that also continue to degrade on your confidence. So if there was something that you could do to build mm -hmm. it for me, my actionable item is to actually consciously stick to at least one of the promises that you make to yourself a day. And I don't mean a big promise. I don't mean like I'm going to lose 20 pounds in six months. I mean like today, just for today, mm -hmm. I'm not going to eat the chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to have, I'm going to have an apple instead. That's it. That's so interesting. I, um, I don't think I had an answer figured out, but for sure what you've just said made me think. So you, you equate self-esteem to behavioral a, a behavior yeah it's the confidence to... it's knowing that you can do something that you can rely on it that like i have the ability to but if you constantly are breaking the promises to yourself how can you really feel like you have the ability to do anything to try something new to explore to meet new people if like it's those little things and like, i think we oh, don't even okay. realize it because it's over time but it's the little things that you break over time that makes conversely you know what when you when you do little things and you do them, you mm -hmm. can approach the new thing with more confidence. I want to jump into who we have because I'm I'm like fascinated now because I honestly didn't. That's not how I thought about this. So uh -huh. let's let's hear what we have. And then I, okay. I would like to comment after them because I'd love to see if they support what you're saying. Wow, this is interesting. Sure. All right. Well, you guys know we are huge fans of the School of Life. School of Life. Take us to school. <laughs> Here we go. It's a feature of the way we're built that we don't generally go around asking why we feel as we do about ourselves. Our self-perception strikes us as just natural. It's been with us for as long as we can remember. It seems ingrained. It's who we are, not something created by 
partial circumstantial forces, and therefore we take it as both true and beyond inquiry. But it may be neither, which is why we have good cause to lean in on one of the most fundamental laws of psychological functioning, which states that the way we feel about ourselves is an internalization of how other people felt about us during our formative years. Our self-esteem is a mirror of the esteem in which we were held by those around us. What we expect of ourselves is a reflection of what others expected from us in childhood. What we think the future will bring is shaped by what the past brought us. It sounds a simple enough principle, but it's an enormously hard one to keep in mind, let alone thread back through our own experience. We may understand the idea intellectually. It can be the work of much of our lives to feel its truth and untie its legacy in our own particular case. The past has a habit of leaving few active traces. We register emotions without being able to follow them back to any source, but we can and should work against the forces of forgetting. To see how this principle of self-esteem works, we can look at its positive manifestations first. The thought, I am a valuable, lovely person, indicates that others once found me lovely. Or the thought that things are going to be okay for me indicates that nice things once happened around me. Or the thought that I can contribute indicates that others once thought I could contribute. But it's the exploration of the negative side of the principle that yields the greatest dividends. The sense that I'm not good enough indicates that other people once didn't find me good enough. Or I'm terrified I've done something wrong indicates that other people once constantly accused me of doing something wrong. In other words, did something wrong to me. Or I can't do anything indicates that other people once thought I was hopeless. Or I'm an idiot indicates that other people once thought I was stupid. Or I feel invisible indicates that I once wasn't seen. All of this is particularly difficult because our feelings about who we are and what might happen to us aren't just passive elements, but they're in the habit of actively determining our futures. The person who feels a failure is going to end up failing. The person who feels boring will end up boring others, and so on. So we haven't just suffered once, we may get stuck in a loop of suffering. The priority is to stop taking our self-esteem as a given and to start to look at its origins as an outgrowth of a period of personal experience that we've not been able to keep in mind and that can be questioned. Once we've properly absorbed this principle of psychology, it becomes open to us to reassess our value and prospects by a more just means. We no longer need to judge ourselves through the eyes of people who were too unwell and in pain to see us properly. So yes, I agree in that, where does it come from? I guess I was mm -hmm. asking, ans answering a different question. Is there a way that we can improve it? I was giving ways for we ways that we can improve it. Mm -hmm. I think what they were suggesting is like, why is it high or low to Where does it come with? from to begin with, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and I think it's important to acknowledge that. And if you want to, if you in the past, were seen as not enough. If you were in the past as not seen as someone where good things happen to you, like if you're in the past, you know, were thought that you were boring. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah. I think I still stand by that. I think there are things that you can do little things. Okay. Maybe people thought I was boring. Well, let me read more interesting books. Okay. You're not going to read a book in a day, but you can say, I promise that I'm going to read five pages today. Right. And then no, I like I like your um, the what you had stated initially, I do think um, addresses the question about improving it, because what they're talking about is just changing how others have perceived you. And what you're talking about completely does that if you're proactive in saying, hey, I want to meet I want to meet people because I've been considered this, that can only change how you're going to be perceived by others. So, mm -hmm. oh, man, yeah, Janelle's always she knows the best books and so on and so on and so on. If those are things that you're changing. So. I completely agree with this. I love what they have to say. This is a lot of value. I always love what they have to say because that's really what yeah. it stems from. If there's, you need the awareness. I, I, and yeah. so I love what they, they pointed out. This is really good. Agreed. 
So what do you guys think? We want to hear what your thoughts. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Um, uh, this has been a lot of fun for us. You know, we love this topic. <laughs> are you now a fan of the School of Life? So are we. <laughs> but we'll see you next week. But until then, as always, remember, you deserve the good life. Say that. Say that. We'll see you guys. <laughs>